there, friend. In this episode, I'm excited to share something I created called the 10 Day Do Something Challenge. It's a fig favorite that we do every year, and I think you're going to love it. We all know that spending time with God is the only way to build a relationship with Him. But you don't know how to do it and enjoy it. Friend, it is possible, and it's so much easier than you think. In a survey I put out some time ago, I asked women about their struggles with their devotional life. The choices were time. It's difficult to find time to just be alone with God. Bible reading. I often don't understand, remember what I read, or enjoy reading it. Journaling. I don't know how to, I don't know what to write or how to use a journal in my devotional time. Prayer. I really don't know what to pray or I don't feel comfortable praying what to do. I feel overwhelmed about even knowing what to do during my devotional time. And here's what they said. 54% of them said they struggled with finding the time to spend with God. That was actually number one. 38% said they didn't know how to use a journal in their devotional time. 21% said they struggled with feeling overwhelmed about even knowing what to do in their devotional time. This one tied for number three. 21% also said that they struggled with reading the Bible, knowing what to read, understanding what they read, and enjoying it. And 8% said they didn't know how or feel comfortable praying. I share this because I want you to see that if you struggle with having a quiet time you enjoy, you are not alone and you're in the right place. I created the 10 day do something challenge to get you moving forward with lots of super simple ideas and the do something idea comes from author Elizabeth George in her book, A Woman After God's Own Heart. In it, she encourages readers to just do something for five minutes. Y'all, we can do anything for five minutes. But it's often the traditional concept of a quiet time, you know, an hour reading the Bible and praying, that it feels so overwhelming that we don't even try. Yes, reading your Bible and praying are so important. But they aren't the only ways we spend time with God. And when we discover ways we enjoy being with Him, the Bible reading and praying becomes so much more easy and enjoyable. The 10 Day Do Something Challenge will give you lots of simple, fun, creative ways to spend time with God. And each day will touch on at least one of the common areas of struggle. So let me be clear. The goal isn't to give you a formula because you were created uniquely and because we already have a quiet time formula. But instead, the goal is to help you find new ways to engage with God that are meaningful to you. You ready to get excited about spending time with God? Make sure to follow this podcast. Also, I've created an email guide that goes with each of the 10 days and some of the challenge days will have extra little goodies that go along with them. So if you'd like to get those emails, I'll drop the link to that in the show notes for you. Okay, figs, that's it for this episode. I can't wait to start the 10 day do something challenge with you. Don't forget to follow the podcast and I would be so grateful if you'd take a moment to submit a review so other women can find help in their devotional life too. Let's cultivate a devotional life you love, like really love. It is possible and it's easier than you think. Talk to you soon, pig.